A Geelong woman has told of her determination to find her brother, who's been missing for almost two years. Daniel O'Keefe disappeared during a battle with depression, but his older sister has vowed that she'll never stop searching. Amy Parks has her story. Lauren O'Keefe says her brother Daniel has had a place set at his family's table every Christmas since he disappeared. Nana said to me, oh, do you think that's for Dan? But each year it has remained yeah, empty. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. But one day, hopefully, he'll just he'll just call and say I'm OK, and that, that would be enough. That would absolutely be enough. Dan went missing from his home near Geelong in 2011, and his case was initially treated as suspicious. But four months later, when he was spotted alive in Queensland, Lauren immediately flew north. You know, seeing that footage, um, it was so relieving to know that he was alive. But um, it was so disheartening to be so confident. I left Melbourne that day so confident I was coming home with him. Um, so it's pretty deflating. The 28-year-old was convinced her brother was alive and needed help for his severe depression. So she quit her job and dedicated herself to an online media and public campaign. Now Lauren spends her days investigating leads supplied by around 30,000 Facebook followers and monitoring a 24-hour hotline. As her mission went on, Lauren started to recognise a need among those she encountered. Partners, parents, children, brothers and sisters of missing persons who'd fallen off the authorities' radar. She's decided to start a website giving assistance and guidance to people who are making finding their loved ones a priority. It's hoped it will go live next month. I do feel that maybe this is something that I was supposed to do and, and I see such a gap and I have so many plans of, of changing missing persons in Australia. But those plans will never get in the way of her one true goal. I will find Anne. I have to. Amy Parks, 7 News.